Hey, have you ever heard that old joke? What is the best thing you can do if you see a Tyrannosaurus Rex? You can pray he doesn't see you, that's what. The reason I bring this up is because you might actually be seeing a T-Rex very soon thanks to science. But is it really true that scientists have been able to recreate a T-Rex embryo with the help of a chicken? Or is this whole idea just one more BFF, as in big fat fake? I've got the answer to that DNA mystery, plus answers on a couple other items that you guys are curious about. Like this video that shows a witch doctor that can levitate. And this picture showing some kind of strange creature that washed up on a shore somewhere. I've got all that plus my favorite fake of the week, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. Boy, am I excited today because I am getting pretty close to launching a live version of the Real or Fake show. Now, this is going to be the same format. This is going to be an actual live game show where I'm going to be the host and four or five of you guys are going to get the chance to compete against each other for big prizes. So stay tuned on this one. All right, so now what about this story about these scientists who have been able to supposedly recreate a T-Rex dinosaur by injecting some dinosaur DNA that they found somewhere into the skin cells of chickens? The story was sent in by Walid Masood, who just wrote, Bill, is this story for real or just a joke? Walid, you know, when it comes to technological or scientific advances, Anything is possible these days, so let's check it out. Taking a closer look, we see the article does indeed show the picture of what may be a dinosaur embryo. The story claims the remains of a 68 million year old pregnant girl Tyrannosaurus rex was discovered some years ago. Then, scientists at North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences injected the dino DNA into the skin cells of a chicken. The result was giving life to the first living dinosaur embryo in millions of years. Hmm. Now, on the one hand, as a lot of you guys probably already know, uh, the chicken is, believe it or not, the closest living relative to the Tyrannosaurus rex. But on the other hand, even if you do have some really good dinosaur DNA, could you really cross that with chicken cells to make a real dinosaur? It's kind of a tough one we got on our hands here. So tell you what, why don't you let me know what you're thinking? If you think scientists have really achieved this feat, then vote real. If on the other hand, you think this is some kind of fake news or a joke, then vote fake. And as usual, if you think we just don't have an answer, then you can always just say unknown. Okay, now if you want to vote and see how other people are voting, you click on the link down there, you go over to my community page where you can do your thing. Now, if you don't want to go through all that, what you do is you just leave me an answer down in the comment section or shout it out. <laughs> Okay, so while you guys do that, I will get out this and get ready to find out what the official answer is. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Have scientists been able to recreate a little embryo of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or are we the butt of somebody's joke? Let's find out what we have here. And by the way, you know, I mean, this thing, if it is true, I mean, it's not gonna be a complete dino. It's kind of a chicken dino cross, something like that. And I'm wondering, you know, what would a three egg omelet look like from one of those things? It's gotta be a lot of protein in it, but I'm sure it's got probably a lot of cholesterol too. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting off the track here. Let's find out what the official answer is. And oh, wow. All right, well, believe it or not, the official answer to this one is fake. Thanks to junior researcher Matthew Lucia, we now know scientists do believe we have the science to recreate dinosaurs, but not how you think. You see, you can't really get DNA from dinosaur remains, so scientists are looking for remnants of dinosaur genes in chickens. Here's paleontologist Jack Horner talking about the process. 
what we're doing now is looking for atavistic genes, in other words, ancestral genes that the birds might still be carrying that are just turned off. Now, as far as this article goes, well, that came from a fake news site known as World News Daily Report. It's famous. This site is known for some really funny but fake stuff like lottery winner arrested for dumping $200,000 of manure on ex-boss's lawn. According to our friends at Snopes.com, all the pictures in the story were fake too. This lab picture was just a stock photograph from Getty Images. So I guess the moral of this story is that it really is true, you just can't believe everything you read. Coming up, can this witch doctor really levitate and float in the air like that? This next video kind of blew my mind when I first saw it. It was sent in by Ari Carl, who just wrote, Is this video really showing a man levitating? Or is this just a BFF, as in big fat fake? All right, now look, I've been to some pretty far out places and I've seen a lot of weird stuff. So, you know, when it comes to this planet we live on, anything is possible, trust me. I did a show for National Geographic about Amazon witch doctors and I saw stuff with my own eyes that I couldn't believe. My side, my side. Now, I have the official answer right here to Ari's question, but before we open up this, let's take a look at the video so you can tell me what you think. Taking a look at the video, we see it was published by a YouTube channel called La Source Enemont. The title is in French and roughly translates to Witch Doctor Subjects Audience to Spectacle of Sorcery. The video only lasts 29 seconds, but it shows the witch doctor floating in the air and freaking out a lot of people. Okay, now here's the deal. If you think that witch doctor can really levitate like that, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think there's some kind of trick to this, uh, then vote fake. And as always, if you don't think we have an answer, well, then you just vote unknown. Okay, so leave me your answers down in the comment section or just shout it out. I'm gonna get out this and we're gonna find out what old Mr. Witch Doctor is up to there. I mean, is he like uh, flying on a string or maybe he's got a helicopter holding him up or maybe he can access a dimension of some unknown reality which allows him to defy the laws of gravity. Now you gotta be really cool to defy the laws of gravity because they, they pretty much blanket everything on this planet. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I am happy to let you know that if you voted real, your answer just happens to be a very special answer today because the official answer, and I'm talking 100% without any doubts, and you're gonna be really amazed by this, but it's true that the wish doctor levitating in that video is, well, Hey, apparently those people watching the show who believe the witch doctor can levitate don't notice the wire holding the man up. If you look closely at the video, even with the low resolution, you can see him grabbing the wire at different points in the video. So you see, in this digital world we live in, it's always a good idea to look at things twice before deciding if it's real or not. Our next little item is this picture. It was sent in by Jeff Adam Ray Galicia, who said, can you please take a look at this one? Real or fake? Well, Jeff, uh, the only thing I can tell you for sure is that ain't no fish. I mean, it, it does have a head and an arm. 
I mean, maybe what this is is a dog carcass that's really badly decomposed, or maybe it's an alien that was shot down by a Navy pilot somewhere. The problem is, you know, just whatever which way you look at this thing, and I've looked at it from a lot of different angles, you really can't tell whether it's real or fake. It's unbelievable. So tell you what, why don't you guys let me know what you think, okay? If you think this is a real animal of some kind, even though it's dead, vote real. If on the other hand you think somebody made this thing in their garage and put it there to freak people out, then just vote fake. And as usual, you can always say unknown if you don't think we have the smoking gun on this one. All right, so go ahead and leave me your answer down in the comment section or just shout it out. I'm going to get out this and see what my super sleuths over on Facebook had to say about this thing because uh, that's what I did. I just sent the picture over to them and said, Help! Anyway, let's see what they said here. And, uh, well, the official answer is, and, uh, you know, I really dislike these, but uh, unfortunately, it's unknown. So, guys, basically what it really comes down to on this one is, uh, well, we need a break. If any of you guys know anything about this picture, please let me know in the comments or by email. Your assistance is much appreciated. All right, well, that comes pretty close to wrapping it up for this week. But hey, if you're thinking about clicking away right now, hold on just a second. I still got to show you my favorite fake of the week. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. And now for my favorite fake of the week. The video was sent in by Rice Fish who wrote, I think this is fake, but I'll leave it up to you. Well, okay, Rice, since you left it up to me, the only thing I'm gonna say about it is, and you can say it with me, so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.